Freshman First Class Movie Review. During the Cold War, Magneto has a bit of a... he's on a vendetta. He wants revenge. Meanwhile, Xavier is starting to realize about mutants and discovering more of them. And he starts to form the Academy. As Sebastian Shaw seems to have some dealings politically. And he and Xavier and Magneto join forces to try to stop Shaw. This film really doesn't feel that much like the other X-Men film. First of all, it's actually a pretty good film. I was pleasantly surprised. What it does feel like is pretty much a spy film, almost like a Bond flick, that just happens to have mutants for several of the operatives. It's... Honestly, it does not have that much mutant-on-mutant -mutant action. In general, I would not really call this an action film as much as a thriller. A... Yeah. Basically, a thriller set during, you know, the Cold War with more focus on tension and build-up than actual action. When there is action, it tends to be quite well handled, and there are some really memorable action scenes. And the tension is good, definitely. It is a very exciting film and tense film. The there are too many mutants and too many characters, just as with all the other X-Men movies. And this time, frankly, not to draw too many comparisons between this one and the third one, this one does have mutants that you really don't see that much use of powers for, where they kind of didn't need to be there. And that's really never a good thing. Some of the character stuff really does work, and in general, other than the villains, the characters don't really feel, you know, they, they do get some development. The acting is pretty good, and the casting is also largely on the fortunate side. Kevin Bacon really does a good job as Sebastian Shaw. I was pleasantly surprised by James McAvoy, I believe, as Xavier. I couldn't stand him in Wanted, and that's frankly all I've seen him in, so... I have more faith in him now than I did before. Michael Fassbender as younger Magneto, great. The young woman who plays Mystique, I recently saw her in Winter's Bone, where she was also brilliant. She does fantastic, and she really hits this... You know, in reality, she is quite beautiful, but she has to play this woman who is not seen as beautiful, and... She does really well at it. The effects are good, the music is pretty good, all in all, it's worth the investment of time as long as you don't expect it to be a straight-up action movie or too much like the others, I would say. It's also pretty brutal at times, although without going over... I would say a teenager could still watch this, and without it feeling like it was really toned down either, I would say. But... Magneto going on revenge, it does get kind of brutal at times, and ev evidence of how well handled the movie is, we don't actually lose sympathy for his character. We still really like Magneto in this film, so that was really well done. All in all, I, yeah, pretty good movie, I would say.
please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box.